Are you a space fox? Welcome back. Today we're playing a game called Green Song, which was made for a college studio class. The game follows a bunch of aging animals. They try to put together their ecosystem after a fire. If you want to download the game for yourself, the link will be in the description. Let's get going. Aww. Foxes are my favorite animal. Oh, we leave little footprints. That's cute. Way to run. Yeah. I looked at the instructions, but I didn't like process them all. That is a big tree. I don't think we're supposed to be able to go into the tree. Oh, hi. Are you a space fox? Spirit, I'm grateful you arrived so quickly. I really didn't. I like wandered everywhere else first. Do I know you? Not officially, I sent for you. Do you remember why you came here? I don't know. I was just wandering. We really were. Yes, exactly, and then I called you here. I have a way with wanderers, you see? I can sense you have a kind heart. The creatures here are suffering from a fire and that tore through the fire through the forest heart. I am the protector of this place, but I was too fragile in my old age to stop it. I am humble enough to admit when I need help. Help from me, what can I do? I'm not magical or anything. You don't need to be magical, just friendly. I need three items, the seed, the soil, and the rain. The seed is owned by the warbler, is that a bird, and her grandchildren to your right. The rain is in the hands of an old turtle beyond the hill to your left. And finally, the soil is being looked after by an old elderly couple in the glade behind me. I think I can do that. The heart may not seem like much, but it was in the backbone of this community in the heyday. Without it, the creatures here would be nothing more than animals. Thank you, truly. I'm glad to help. Bring the seed, the soil, and the rain and place them before the burning heart. If you need any help, please feel free to ask. Oh, I was just thinking, please put that up there where I can see it, because I have already forgotten all of that. I wish that the spirit was a little more obvious, like, maybe in front of the tree that I first went to, because I feel like I wandered to all of those places. Oh no, my objectives went away! No, oh, I said I was going to forget all those things, I'm going to forget all those things. Oh! Warbler, right? Yeah. Oh, it's cute music. Oh boy, oh boy. Excuse me, could I ask? Huh? I'd love to help you, sweetie, but I'm looking for my three grandbabies. Have you seen them? We were in the heart of the forest during the fire and, and I lost sight of. Of them, I'm assuming. I've looked around a bit, but these old wings don't work like they used to. I hate to ask, but you look pretty spry. Would you help me? Of course I'll help you find your grandchildren. Oh, thank goodness. I'm sorry for being rude and rambling. What was it that you were going to ask? I'll help you out however I can. Looking for the seed so I can regrow the heart of the forest. That, that old thing, I like to keep it around in case of emergencies. But you're doing so much to help me, I'll gladly hand it over once my three grandbabies are all accounted for. Besides, fixing the forest is certainly a worthy enough cause. Do you know where I should start looking? The birds tend to stay in high places, but my grandchildren wouldn't go too far away. You'll know them when you see them. They look just like me. Find all of the Warbler's grandchildren. I mean, fires can be so devastating. Um, like how it impacts the wildlife and everything that's growing there. Hello, could you help me? I'm lost and I can't find my way home. Your grandmother sent me to find you. It sounds just like her. She can always sense that I'm in trouble. She's a great lady. Well, she's waiting for you right around the corner. Thank you, stranger. Okay, we need two more birds. I 
cute game. Mm, birds. That's oh, you can actually see them. Like the bird doesn't just disappear. It's a spirit. Where would a bird be? Oh, there's a bird. I wonder if these were here beforehand. They probably weren't, because nothing else was there when I was wandering around. How do I talk to you, little buddy? I don't think I'm supposed to be able to go into the bush. Oh, this is an... There you go. Hey! Hello, little bird. I talked to your grandmother. I'm here to make sure you get home safely. I like how all the birds have different names. How do I know you're not lying? That's fair. Pretty sure foxes eat birds. How do I know it won't get gobbled up if I do what you say? You don't. You'll have to trust me. I'm not going to force you to come with me. It's your choice. Oh. I, I don't like being out here alone. I'll go with you. Okay. One... Where would a bird be? Oh, hey, little buddy! I kind of, I mean, like, I expected them to just disappear or something and then reappear over here and not actually, like, see them hopping around. I think it would be helpful if there was like a audio cue, like when you started, oh there you are, when you started to get a little closer, you would start to hear them, because this one is really hard to see at certain angles, and maybe some kind of audio cue, like the closer you get, the more you start to hear them sing, that could really help you find them. Ren, hi, do you need, did you need something? Your grandmother sent me to come get you. Are you all right? I'm okay. The fire was scary, but I'm having fun out here now. <laughs> could you just tell her that I'll be back later? I could, but that wouldn't stop her worrying. Oh, I don't want her to, to worry. I guess I can come back later. I think one... Uh, silver lining about fires, forest fires um, and the like, is that nature shows an incredible ability to bounce back afterwards. I'm lost. You know, there's this incredible ability to regrow, um, and it's not the end of the world when there's a forest fire, even though it is very devastating. You are a miracle worker. My family is safe thanks to you. Kids, say thank you to the nice fox. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, scary fox. I'm happy to help. Now if I could ask. Ah, the seed, of course, it's on the rocks behind you. If you run into the forest guardian, say hi from me. I will. Get the seed from the tall pine tree and bring it to the heart of the forest. This tall pine tree? Didn't didn't she say the rock? Oh. It's a little confusing. Okay. So, Forest Guardian? That's who I bring it to? Hello again! Could you tell me a little more, more about what I need to do? You're going to be helping me resport. I must find the seed, which will be reborn as a new heart. Oh! The warbler has it, but it's an emergency source of food for her grandchildren, so she might take some convincing. Let's find the soil. Let's find the rain. Place them before the burn tree. Oh, okay, so I don't bring it to you. Sorry. Oh, this happens automatically. 
It's very cinematic. Oh! So it kind of like regrows apart already. Almost makes me think we don't need this oil, but if you say so. Ah, you're back! And you got the seed! That old warbler must have taken a liking to you. I'll go look for the next item. Right. Is something wrong? I'm getting old and soon I'll be gone. I just want to know my community will be safe. Which is a very normal thing, right? Like, when we are at different stages of our life, we have different priorities. And when we get older, we, we start to care more about the next generation. And that we're passing things on. That kind of thing. I can't even leave this part of the forest anymore ever since this blasted fire. Fire that I failed to quell to top it all off. You knew you needed help, and now I'm here, see? Yes, I suppose so. Thanks again for all you're doing for everyone here. I'll let you go now. It is literally regrowing. I mean, like, the spirits blaming themselves for not doing more, but they're already doing a lot. Like, when is it enough? Which I think is a question sometimes we all battle. This has to be something. Oh, it's the turtle! The feisty one. I like how the text actually scrolls slower. Hello there, dearie. Are you well? I am, although I wasn't here when the tree burned down. Like, you can see the contrast between how fast the text scrolls for the turtle and the fox. It's just awful. It was really magnificent, that tree. You can click to, like, skip it faster, but I kind of feel like it's a neat touch, and I don't want to. I wish you could have seen it. I'm doing my best to bring it back to its former glory. Although I also think they're, they have a nice touch of, like, not giving the turtle too many lines, or, like, not too complicated of sentences, because then I think it would be kind of like, Okay, turtle, come on, we don't have all day. That's kind of you, sweetheart. This place has been quite the sanctuary for us. Before the fire, it was a real community. Are you afraid of losing your home? What's there to be afraid of, darling? This old place won't be going anywhere. And anytime soon. What happened was tragic. And we all lost something. But... The forest is still here. It can't outrun me. <laughs> That's for sure. Is that so? Oh, bless your heart. Haven't you heard? I'm the... F I'm the fastest thing in these woods. I hadn't. Don't believe me? Well... Now, don't you dare think... I haven't heard that well before. How about a quick run? How about a quick run by the water? I would not be surprised if the turtle is like super speedy in the water. I've been needing to stretch these creaky legs anyway. If you say so. Marvelous. If you head down, if you head down the path to your left, and get over the hill, you should see a tall orange tree. Meet me there, and I will show you what fight I've still got left in me. Go around the corner to talk to the turtle. So... I do wish the, like, objective stayed up there, because I feel like there's so many at this point. Here? Didn't they say something about an orange tree? Is it over here? Nice of you to show up, youngster. I am, I will admit, I'm getting a little impatient with the tech speed of the turtle. Whoa, how did you get here so quick? The magic video games? I know a few shortcuts. Sure, I believe that. Well then, are you ready? Born ready. Are we actually going to have to do a race? I'm terrible at racing. We'll be heading just around the bend here, past by the water, down to the creek at the bottom of the cliff. Oh, I'm not going to remember these directions either. Oh no. 
Whoever makes it to the other orange tree down there wins. Got that? Sounds good to me. Off we go. Oh, no. This turtle is fast. I don't know where we're going. I'm just hoping it's a very intuitive path. This orange tree? What a race! Talk to the turtle. Hi, turtle. I was really hoping the turtle would be a lot faster. My goodness, you're fast! You really booked it. Oh, you. Don't act so surprised. In any case, thank you for humoring an old lady. My pleasure. That was a nice run. Feels good to remember there's still some spark in me. Well, not only that, but... There's often this culture of... Ignoring people who are older, and so... I think that it would be nice to feel like you're not ignored. Like, people still want to talk to you. People still want to connect with you. You should have seen me back in the day. I could really go. You're certainly faster than any turtle I've met before. Not like before. And it's all downhill from here. Don't get down on yourself like that. There's no need to resign yourself to it. Who's resigning? My life has been rich and full, and I've no doubt that whatever's left of it will be as well. It's a good attitude. I've done more than enough running in my time. I just hope I'll be here to see that magnificent tree in the heart of these woods again. I was actually hoping you could point me in the direction of the rain. I'm told you might know where it is. I most certainly do, sweetheart. Keep going down this path and you'll find yourself back at my house. Should be right around there. Keep an eye out. I will! I promise I'll have that tree back to its old self in no time. Once everything's in order, we'll have to go for another run. That we will. Look behind Turtle's house for the rain and bring it to the heart. So is that the like little water thing? That's not much for that. Oh! Looks like a little potion vial. I'm assuming we put this at the burned tree too. You got the rain. I hope that old turtle didn't tire you out too much. Where do you plan on going after this young fox? There's only one place left. Nowhere in particular. Oh, they mean in general. I'll find somewhere else to be for a while, I suppose. I just like to be of use. I see. If I told you that you'd be able to continue helping here after the heart is restored, would that interest you? Are you offering me a job? I've never really stayed in one place that long before. You don't have to answer right away. Just think on it. That's the second item, just one more now. So, I think we said the glade behind them is where the third item is, the soil. Oh, it's a cute fungus house! Ah, company! A pleasure! What a relief to see a new face. Not many strangers in this woods after the fire at the heart of the forest. Just terrible. Was that place special to you? It was special to all of us. Very special. This reminds me of like Animal Crossing. The two like um, kids who like echo each other. Warbler's grandchildren used to love playing there. You could never drag them away. It was a place where everyone in the community could meet for one reason or another. After the fire, we've been almost completely separated from each other. You don't see anyone else? Not often. Didn't, like, Fox ask a question and then answer himself? It's much too dangerous for folks like us to get to get to the others through the heart of the forest now. We could barely get around before the fire. Actually, Toad and I had planned to host our anniversary party there. Dreadful timing. 
Maybe next year. I've actually been trying to clean the place up. If you two could help me out, it would be much appreciated. We'd be happy to lend a hand. Flipper? We're, we're handy. Right now I'm looking for the soil if you've got any information on that. Oh, we know where that is. We do? We do? Ahem. <clears throat> we do. Great! Could you give me some directions? Just around the bend behind you and to the left. Head up the hill and you should find it there by the pink tree. Thank you, gentlemen. Do come again. Isn't that, like, where it just was? Are they giving me fake directions? I do realize that most of these trees are pink. Back again. Yes, yeah, sorry, could you please remind me where I have to go? Certainly. Continue down the path behind you and head up the hill. Ought to be around there somewhere. Thank you. I can't tell if they're trying to make me go away or if there's legitimately, like, a thing there. Behind me and up the hill. What? I just talked to you. Hello! Oh! Hello, Toad. What brings you here? Is the soil nearby? Ah, right. Now I must ask that you keep what I am about to say between the two of us. Worry not, it is nothing shameful, but it is critical that you keep it to yourself. My lips are sealed. Excellent. A bit further down the path is a flower that I have been tending to. You will spot it by the pond down the hill. I'm sure you've been doing a wonderful job. Correct. I have been caring for it since the fire. As you have been made aware, Frog and I were to celebrate our anniversary soon. And the flower is for him? Aww. Precisely. How thoughtful. More importantly for you, young one, is that I have planted this flower in the soil which you seek. Oh. Oh, do you still need it? There is more than enough to go around. It is unlikely to disturb my gift. Strange how such a minor thing as the life of a single flower can hold so much weight in a time like this. There is an unspoken understanding in this community that to reach this point in our lives, we must have cheated death to some extent. For many, the fire that burned down such a key part of the forest landscape was far too close to comfort. For some, it, pro it proved to be lethal. The fire came so suddenly, there was little time to escape from the heart of the forest. I'm so sorry to hear that. Turtle has been particularly affected by it all. As the oldest in these woods, she seems afraid to lose the turtle she used to be. Did you know that she used to be one of the fastest creatures in the forest? Her age has begun to wound her pride. There's no shame in slowing down. Perhaps not. Yeah, but if that's like... If that's our identity, like how we see ourselves, we're not just losing... Our speed. But we're also losing our sense of who we are. Nevertheless, the fire is just another reminder that her time here is finite. I understand. You seem rather content if you don't mind me saying. I do not mind. The truth is that I found someone to share that anxiety with. That feeling is not left, but is considerably more manageable with someone like Frog around. You make a good team. We do. Thank you for your help. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate your discretion on the gift. I'll take this secret to my grave. Very good. Find the soil by the big pretty flower and bring it to the heart. So over here. the flower oh, let me see the flower now I have the task of finding my way back oh there it is Good. I'm getting lost <laughs> Spirit. Let that whip around. I mean, this would be regrowing, a f like, from a fire really fast. You've done very well. That's it. 
For you, anyway, unless you choose to stay. What happens to you? I use the last of my magical energy to regrow the heart. That sounds dangerous. It isn't danger, it's sacrifice. The heart will protect them better than I can in my old age. I'm at peace with that. Guarding the forest and its creatures has always been my purpose. Does this mean that if I agree to stay here, I'll be taking on your role? Essentially, I suppose. The role is mostly keeping the people here happy. Their joy strengthens the heart and makes the forest more resilient. I've been too tired to do it well, is all. And it's not usually all magic and fighting fires. I'm sure you've done your best. I'll stay and help out. This place has grown on me anyway. You have a kind soul. I sense it in you from miles away. I appreciate you've, everything you've done for me and all the things you will continue to do. Stay safe, little fox. Oh! We're pink now. I mean, even with a fire, this is still a beautiful place. It's a cute little logo symbol. I really like the game overall. Um, I think that there are some things that could be improved, like little glitches, being able to walk through things, things like that. Um, and some quality of life um, aspects as well, like being able to have a little clear um, directions and instructions on things um, and being able to keep the objectives on the side of the screen, I think would have been helpful for me because I got lost a few times, but it was a student project from what I understand, and student projects don't have to be perfect. Um, it's a part of like learning and growing and all of that kind of stuff. And so overall, I think it was really great and how it touched on very, I don't wanna say adult, but like very serious topics about like growing older and how that impacts us. Um, I really liked that. And it also in a very, I don't wanna say, um, by having it in a kind of pixelated animal type format, I think it made it easier to talk about those things. So overall, I really enjoyed the game. I would love to hear what you guys thought about it in the comments below. And again, the link to download it for yourselves will be in the description. I'm gonna end this here and I will see you guys in the next video.